Scientists around the world, who mere days ago were in a frenzy over the newly discovered species, were deeply disappointed. As for the young man actually wearing the dolphin suit, he had merely this to say, quote, I did it so Brittany would like me. And in our top story, authorities are currently stepping up their search for Dave, the host of a bizarre interdimensional television program who has allegedly ruined Christmas. Although several people have come forth to claim participation in a recent mob beating of Dave, his body was not found when authorities arrived at the purported location. We'll keep you in... Huh? You think them there Dave fella done really ruined Christmas? Yep. <laughs> Me too. I reckon he's some kind of deviant. Y'all remember when we went on down to your sister's house and saw them portal show on the television box? Yep. I reckon the whole crowd of them on the program there's a bunch of deviants, weirdos. Remember we saw that Dave fella talking to them trees back on Arbor Day there? <laughs> Crazy lewd. Something else to see that was. Yep, something else to see. <laughs> Sir, how do you feel about Virtual Arbor Day? Do you know the history of Virtual Arbor Day? Your fondest Virtual Arbor Day memory. Tell us about it. Sir, sir, can we stick to the topic, please? Well, no, I think there were many factors involved in the coconut embargo. I think you have to look at the history of the region a little bit before you jump to... I realize that. Well, wouldn't you agree that... Right... No, no, no. Actually, it, it dates back to the time that Billy Arbor discovered the very first virtual tree. I... We, I... The, the, let me finish, sir. Let, sir, I let you speak. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. No, I don't use paper money. No, plastic. All plastic, my friend. Do you feel excluded today, and do you think you'll ever be successful in having your own day? Sir, how do you feel about Virtual Arbor Day? Oh my god, I'm so... I'm sorry, how much do I bench? How much do you bench? Ma'am, e even if I were willing to go out with you, I, I don't think that's an appropriate topic for, for this discussion. How old are you? Come on, let's go! Tell that to your mother. Ah, talking to trees. What's next? He gonna interview the river? <laughs> Aw, shucks. Shouldn't make fun. If he was some crazy mind in his own, wouldn't care none. But there's some youngins watching that transmission there. That's a hell of an influence, I tell you. We had Roy Rogers back then, but the whippersnappers these days, they got Dave. Heck, he even got one peculiar little youngin' on the show there. Remember seeing that one? Down at your sister down there? Yep. Yep, me too. Hell aside to see that youngin'. Hell aside. So, standing by is the only child I know, Truggy's son Michael. He's accompanied by one of his current caretakers, Sir Blue. Dave, I now prefer the title The Atrocious Mr. Green, for obvious reasons. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Green? The atrocious Mr. Green! Right. L look, is uh, Michael with you? Why, yes. The young lad is at my side. We've just finished learning a passage from Othello. Say hello, Michael! Hi, spaceman! You want to hear me do Otholi? No, that, that's okay, Michael. Ah! No, wait, wait, no, you, go, ahead, no go ahead. Go ahead. Let, let's hear it. <laughs> you, you mean it? Yes, of course, Michael. Only a monster of a human being would refuse a young lad the chance to show off his Shakespeare. Shaky! Isn't that right, Dave? Yeah, right. Okay, here I go. Even like thy chatty, oh cursed guy, whip em, devils, from the posy of that, blow em some wind. Wash me? Oh, yeah, wash me in a gulf of liquid fire. Oh, dear Simona, dim you donor, dead, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Did you like it? Did you like it? Oh, yeah, that was, that was excellent. Now, uh, but you didn't clap. How come? How come? Well, I'll clap next time. <laughs>
Wow! He didn't uh, like it. No, look. <laughs> But, but but how come he didn't say hooray when he clapped? Yes, Dave. Don't you think the lad deserves a good old cheer? Hooray! He liked it! Yeah, great. He liked now, Michael, it. <laughs> I'm sure Sir Blue discussed with you... The atrocious Mr. Green. I'm sure the atrocious Mr. Green uh -oh. discussed with you... I think he's getting angry. I'm not getting angry. Now, listen. Why are you mad? I'm not mad. Will you listen to me? Why? Oh, that is fine work, Dave. You've gone and upset a fragile child. Blue, the atrocious Mr. Green! This isn't happening. This isn't... Val? Yes, Dave? Patch Bernie through. Yes, Dave? Michael, meet Bernie. Bernie, Michael, Mr. Purple, please get out of the way. <laughs> hey, you're fuzzy. Hula, Chuchi. You look like a skunk. Do you smell like stinky? <laughs> you better not make stinky or I'll hit you with a fist. <laughs> hey, you can come over and color with crayons on the wall with me. Oh, no, I don't think that would be good. <laughs> He's breaking through. You want to see something funny? Watch, watch, I'll make a spit loogie. <laughs> Gross, huh? <laughs> Watch me pick an earwax booger! <laughs> oh, for the love of the queen, stop! <laughs> Quiet, Green, it's working! <laughs> Watch me make a fart! Watch! Uh-oh, I made a poop in my pants! <laughs> Green? I feel yucky. Change my diaper, Dave. Wah! Val? Yes, Dave? I don't think we can sink any lower than this. At least not until the drifter craps his pants. Dave, the drifter is at least 30 years away from losing control of his bowels. Good to know, Val. Good to know. <laughs> Tell you, there's a special place in purgatory down there for that Dave fella. Having a youngin' on there so he can make a funny about crapping. Tain't no thing to joke about crapping. No, siree. Crapping's a thing to keep to your lonesome, gosh darn it. Ain't that so? Yup. Yup is right. Yup is right. <laughs> Sorry I ain't being much a talker. You forgive me? Yep. I'm just all uppity thinking me about that Dave fella and his portal show. Can't believe he had that youngin' on there talking about you know what. There's just certain things a fella don't discuss out loud and crappin's one of them. But that don't stop Dave. Heck, now that I recall on it, I remember he had one fella on there talking nothing else but turlets. Like a grown man needs a fella to teach him how to use a turlet. If you can't figure on yourself how to use a one of them, the last thing you should be doing there is watching the television box. Don't you agree? Yep. Turlet lessons. Wish I could get them dirty thoughts out of my head, but I can't. Hello, I'm Cliff. I am a plumber specializing in restrooms, restroom areas, and restroom-related devices. As to how I originally met Dave from Portal, <laughs> he would be upset if I imparted this information to you. Therefore, just allow me to say never attempt to flush a flight suit down a hotel toilet. <laughs> now, about The Sims. In this world, it is important to be aware of your bladder and hygiene and such at all times, as indicated by these meters here. If you let them sink, for example, into the red, bad and humiliating results can occur. Poor guy. By maintaining a good toilet and using it properly, you can be happy like myself and other well-adjusted individuals such as myself. This is the most basic toilet available, but there are many others which will serve your needs better. For example, the Bugs Memorial Commode will not only help your functions, but is aesthetically pleasing as well. Some toilets, such as this Flush Force 5, contain an auto-flush feature, saving you valuable seconds in your busy day. 
High-end toilets such as this model will not only serve to relieve your needs, but will increase your comfort level as well. Showers are equally important to a well-balanced individual. This most basic unit will assist your hygiene needs. But remember, there are many models available, such as this chrome version with deluxe massage features to help relax your person. For true relaxation, as well as additional bonuses to your comfort meter, try one of the Sims Many Fine Tubs. Ah, I wish I were relaxing in a luxurious bathtub right now. Please remember, all bathroom appliances must be cleaned regularly or a possible penalty might appear as a result of your irresponsibility and neglect. The bathroom is a critical tool for all citizens of The Sims Online. Use it in good health and please, do not become one of the few individuals who so chooses to perverse the bathroom, turning it into a chamber of filth and disgrace. Now, if you will excuse me, at this time I myself have to use the restroom. Take care now. Hell a thing for a fella to have stuck in his head. Guess there ain't nothing sacred to them portal deviants. Even them drifter fella. Supposed to be some kind of hero. But that don't stop him from talking about private functions neither. Even had a meeting with some unholy monster types to discuss it. Remember that there time? Yep. Yep, me too. Thank you for joining us in our lair. Dear Drifter, get to the point. Teach us to be clean like yourself. We too wish to be admired by the many women of virtual world. What? Tell me, how many times a day should I wash my body? And in what substance? Is it acceptable to barf on your food if your date is not looking? Let us speak now of pee pee. No! Poo -poo. You lured me here to ask me hygiene questions? What is the proper procedure for disposing of snot? I don't have time for this nonsense. Please, Drifter. We need your guidance to escape the life of filth. Just one question. One ounce of your wisdom before you leave us this day. Please, Drifter. Please. Hurry up. Ah! Excellent. I will allow our youngster to choose a question. How do you know if you've used enough deodorant? You grab an orc and jam his face into your armpit. If he passes out, it's time for a new coat. Now get out of my way. The brilliance! The brilliance! Thank you, Drifter. You shall always have an ally in the things. Hooray. Huh, deviants, the whole lot of them. And these ain't even the worst of them. Dave and the Drifter and the bathroom fella there. Heck, there's one, uh, uh, thing. Ain't gonna call it a man. There's one thing on there even worse. Done walk around in a wedding dress. Ain't even going to speak its name for fear of being punished. But you know what I'm recalling, don't you? Yep. Of course you do, that kind of perversion. Man don't only see that but once in his lifetime. Well, once is enough. Once is enough. I'm the man, plain and simple. Anything or anybody even looks at me funny, they're in for a world of hurt. And lately, a lot of people have been in for a world of hurt. I don't wear this dress because I'm looking to get married. I just like to be comfortable, that's all. All day, I'm out here busting my chops as a soldier for Omnitech, mopping up the clan scum. Is it so much to ask that I should get a little airflow and have something soft and silky against my skin? What's the big deal, huh? This dress is made of real special material. I can even swim in it. And when I use nano protections on myself, it really shines. I'll admit, sometimes I worry about blood bags being able to bite my ankles. But I tell you right now, I refuse to wear boots. Talk about clash. I do have some sense of style. 
I'd say the only thing I really worry about with the gown is jumping. See, I'm a level 180. I can jump so high, I think people down there might be able to see up it. And trust me, there's a lot to see. Look, between you and me, this thing does wonders for drawing attention away from the fact that my hairline ain't what it used to be. And if there's any doubt about my masculinity, I got all kinds of tools to fix that. I don't know. I admit it's a little weird, but who's gonna stop me? <laughs> not these guys. Or these guys. And certainly not you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've had enough fighting. I got a party to go to. Later. Yup, ain't nothing sacred to them portal folk. Even seen them make fun of other people's ailments and diseases and the like. Imagine that. Be like if I made me's a comment about your mother and her dementia or something. Sure would be fine by portal. Even recall on them making fun of OCD. Them obsessive, contrusive mental thing that torments so many folk. But wasn't nothing funny about that one. No, sir. Hi, I'm a hotshot, and well, I just don't feel comfortable logging off for the day until I've killed an equal number of reptiles, mammals, and insects, always in multiples of five. Okay, time to go to bed. Ketchup, mustard, relish, ketchup, mustard, relish, ketchup, mustard, relish, ketchup, mustard, relish. I have these two identical backpacks, one purple and one blue, and I always like to make sure they have the exact same content at all times. Otherwise, I don't feel secure. Chocolate, vanilla, berry, chocolate, vanilla, berry, chocolate, vanilla, berry, chocolate, vanilla, berry. But, but it's so frustrating, because, you know, well, sometimes I've killed ten reptiles and ten mammals and nine insects, and I'll be on my way to kill one last insect to log off, and I'll get attacked by a mammal and have to defend myself and then well I've got to start all over and kill four more mammals and five more reptiles and six insects before I can stop sometimes I'll even stop in the middle of a dangerous area just to check up on my packs I've got two bracelets in each one dagger in each a brick of cheese gorgonzola meat fish chicken meat fish chicken meat fish chicken meat fish chicken sometimes I'll be so tired and I'm just dying to log off and go to sleep and well I've got a huge meeting the next day but meanwhile I'm hunting for 42nd reptile to get to 45, and my 41st mammal to get to 45. One time I lost one of my packs and had to reconstruct it from scratch, but in order to do that, I had to sell half the ingredients from the remaining pack in order to have gold to match the ingredients that were left in that pack to a new pack, and it was just a total nightmare. It's really incapacitating. Huh. Your pappy still have that OCD thing there? Yep. Still check your shoelaces round about 200 times a day? Yep. Sure don't seem fair, but don't stop Portal none from making fun of it. Maybe them folk gotta deal with the devil or something. Yep, sure would make sense. Remember they even had them undead zombies on there fighting amongst each other? Sure was an unholy sight to see. Sure was. Yeah. 
Ah. Ah. It's probably true that Dave fella done ruined Christmas. Think we should take our pitches on down? Nope. Hmm. Neither do I. Gotta give a fella the benefit of the doubt, don't you know? <laughs> now, let's go on to bed. Before we recall on that old possessed foreign film we saw on them there program once. Hella thing to see, I tell you. Hell a thing to see. Fish! Chicken, I love porter meat. Porter. Yep. 